Daniel Sullivan will start off for Donovan Catholic. Anthony Alfonte on the mound, like I said. And the first pitch is a high chopper to the second baseman. He's got it on the first, and good play there by, by Donald, Zellman. Donald Zellman. And one out for the Lions after one pitch. The sun is shining straight in from right center. Slowly going down. If he has one Matt pitch per, per batter, I mean, he'll have a pretty good game. I, I, I'd assume so. Yeah, that would uh, that'd make a lot of sense. Just got to get them all out. That could help. So this is considered a night game, but it is uh, pretty bright still today. That pitch is low and in the dirt. Ball one. Really good seats tonight, right behind home plate. That softball game, we're a little bit off to the left here, but today, really nice seats to watch this game. That pitch is on the inside corner for a called strike. And the 1-1 one, one pitch is fouled off. Lacey having a very impressive season so far. 15-2? and two. Yep. Very, very impressive. <laughs> Catching Anthony Alfonte is Jordan Jerkevich. Am I saying that right? Jerkevich? Jerkevich? Something like that. Who just, uh, as a sophomore, um, verbally committed to... Maryland, which is very impressive now. Ball in between the third baseman and the shortstop. Evan Ross takes charge and gets a very good out there. Two outs in the inning. Matt, what you see there? Um, I saw Keith. The third baseman. He had the ball Number going, but I mean, it's always the third baseman's man. call that cut him off, and that's what he did and got him out. It's a great job by uh, Evan Ross, you know, using that momentum, coming to the ball, and then firing right over to Brandon Haggerty at first base yeah, to get the out. Quick throw, got the out. Now two up, two down for the Lions. That pitch is swung on a miss. Up to bat is Zach Mann. Oh, one pitch is swung on a miss very late there by Mann. Oh, and two. So Matt, oh, two count. You come back with a fastball since he's late on two straight ones. You're going with a little junk. Um, I mean, it really depends on the batter. I'd go, I'd go low and throw him a pitch to see if he just bites, but pitches inside. didn't do that. I would have tried to go back with a high fastball to get him to swing at a pitch around his eyes, and then if not, maybe come back with a curve. Yeah, I think though this is the three hitter. You know, you don't want to pitch right at him. Here's the one two on the outside corner, strike three. So a good an inning for Anthony Alfonte. So lines will now come to bat in the bottom of the first. We're right back to WLTS TV 21.
We're back here at WLTS TV 21, leading off for the Lions. Jordan Jorkevich on the mound is Bart Goble for Donovan Catholic. Jordan only a sophomore. He's batting over 400 this year. Only player on the team. Now that is good. Very good. Probably why he got an uh, offer from Maryland. and uh, He's only a sophomore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very impressive. And he is a leadoff hitter. You want your leadoff hitter to get, get on base a lot. And I'll tell you what, he does a great job of that. I can't imagine what his on-base percentage is if his batting average is over 400. Watching warm-ups from Goble. Really could throw a, a mean fastball. So excited to see what he's going to bring to the table for Donovan Catholic. That pitch is crushed to right, but it looks like that will get out of play. It's going to be a foul ball. Important here for Gold to kind of uh, make sure uh, Drickowicz is not uh, comfortable up there. That's an off-speed pitch, and will be low. You never want to uh, walk first batter of the game, and he's putting that in danger right now with the 3-1 count. Sun is slowly going down, and a little bit more as a night game as we continue here. That pitch is low. Matt, you were wrong. The count was 2-2, two two, I, I believe. I could have sworn it was 3-1. It was 2-2, two and, two, and now it is full count. Right, now he's... Now he's risking the walk first bat of the <laughs> now game. Now he is. <laughs> and the full count pitch is crushed to left, and that will also be a foul ball. First batter of the game. Very courteous of Donald Zellman to go run out and pick up Jordan's bat. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> no. These baseball players, they like each other. Plus, I feel like <laughs> that on deck circle is very close. I think he has the option of standing on either side of the dugout, so I don't know. I'd stand far away. Yeah, so would I. A good job here by Jordan to already have the count pretty high in the first bat at bat. And that ball will be a high strike three, so Kevin saw a walk, but the umpire thought differently. One out here in the bottom of the first. The second baseman. The second baseman. Now up, Donald Zellman. Based on uh, that at bat by uh, your coverage in, uh, in the first inning by a batter on Donovan, uh, the umpire is really calling the high and outside fastball. Pitch is low, poor ball. So today, Matt, we versed Manchester in golf, and we got the W, improving a record to is it now 11 and three. I think 11 and three. We won by. Almost 100 shots. <laughs> 80 strokes, 80 shots. Manchester's not the best team out there for golf. Probably the worst. No offense to you guys, but there's yeah. a lot of freshmen on that team. All the all the uh, people from Manchester are going to be hearing this commentate. Yeah. Fly ball, right field. And the second baseman says, no, I'm going to run out to the right field and catch it myself. Makes a really nice play. A lot harder than it had to be. And two I wouldn't outs. catch that ball. Now you're bad with pop-ups. <laughs> I will say that is definitely not easy to uh, track that ball because you also don't know where the right fielder is, too, if he's going to come in on and catch that. Yeah, I'm not sure why the right fielder didn't just call him off there, but listen, an out's an out. There's two out in this inning. Yeah, but Matt, we are 11-3, and won by like 80 shots. And uh, tomorrow we go for the B-South championship, as is Lazy Baseball today. You know, the second baseman come over again. That one's going to get out of play and foul. So we got to beat Central and Jackson Liberty in the tribe match. And B South. No, just got to beat one of them. Beat one of them. One of them to split the division. Which then counts as a win. So listen, anything you can do to consider yourself a B South champion. Just to get the, just to get that picture up on that wall. Mm. <laughs> There's some crazy ones up on that wall. That pitch, high chopper to second base. Beat it out. Postulus with the run, but a good throw. And that's going to do it for the first inning. We have a score, 0-0, zero, zero, heading to the top of the second. We'll be right back at WLTS TV 21.
right, Joey, let's get this shot reset from this picture. Let's uh, tilt down a little bit for me, please. Long line to tilt left and tilt down. All right, up this up. Push down for Bob Vogel, 11. Push down for 11. Oh, don't shoot! 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 We're back here at WLTS TV 21. Here on a Monday night, Monday night baseball, Bart Goble, the pitcher, now steps up in the plate and cracks one over the third base and set Evan Rawls. And we'll get on to lead off the inning on the first pitch, pitch he sees. Great, pi oh, great piece yeah. of uh, hitting there by Goble, being able to fight off a uh, curveball, get it over Rawls' head. Now running for Donovan Catholic for Bart Goble. Number two, Ross Artali. Ross Artali now is going to pinch run. Pitchers and catchers do get a, I don't know what you call it, a sub. Pinch a runner. Courtesy runner is what it is technically called, so they do not have to run the bases. It's got to be a little weird for Ross Artali. He played uh, baseball at Lacey for his first two years of high school. Now he transferred over to Mondon, or Donovan Catholic it now is. I actually saw him recently at a boardwalk with his girlfriend. And I didn't know him at the time. But now I feel like I know him because I, I met him once, you know, we, sh we shook hands. Actually, no, we didn't shake hands, but. I would like to say, I, contact. I would like to say I have, uh, I've played with him, uh, played baseball with him for many, many years. Did you? Wow. Yeah. Great kid and great family. Yeah, but now he's on Donovan Catholic, so. So now he's our enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a really good curveball there by Alfonte. And Jack, what's the count for us? Uh, one ball, two strikes. A one-two count now. I'm not going to keep track of this, the count anymore. I wish I had the uh, scoreboard out, up and running, but it doesn't look good tonight, so we'll just try to do our best. We're going to have some messed ups with the count. I'll tell you that much right now. Umpire's a little bit upset now. He just wants some balls, and all the foul balls haven't been returned. The one, two. That ball is low. And Jerkovic has a very good arm behind the plate. Martali has to be careful. When you do have a courtesy runner, are you expecting a steal? No, you're not always expecting a steal. Just courtesy runners just for uh, pitcher catcher. Just Let's see. They tag for one on to first. Great play by Donald Zellman. He does it all himself as he tags and throws to first for a double play. Wow, now they're going to call wow. catcher interference. So that means Ross Artali is safe at second. And Catcher's Warner interference Russo has been called by Jordan Yukevich. Is safe at first. So. What was a great play is now scrapped. Now batting for Donovan Catholic, number 13, Brian Gilroy. And that hurts the momentum of the line, but nevertheless, a really good Correction, play there Ian by Gilroy. A really good play there by Don Zellman. Anthony Elefante on the mound just gotta let that go by, just forget about it and just move on. And that's a hard thing for a pitcher, especially when you think you have a double play, turns into a runner on first and second. Big change. They're looking for a bunt and a high fastball. It's going to be a ball. So I guess when he, when the batter Russo swung, he got a little piece of Jerkevich, and that will, that's all that needs to be done for it to be batter interference. That ball has popped straight up and almost in our faces there. I guess uh, Gilroy's probably just going to try to get a sacrifice and then hopefully they can drive in our tally and uh... so 
Let's see what he can do here. He's gonna, looks like he was looking for a pitch to hit. That ball was down inside for a strike, so Alfonte is now ahead on this batter. One, looking, two. Looking good battling back after that last error, but, or not error, just uh, catcher interference, and uh, hopefully you get him out right here. And that is a strike three, a really good pitch on the outside corner for Elefante. One down the for catcher, the line. Number 10, Nick DeMeo. Nick DeMeo now step into play for Mondo, excuse me, Donovan Catholic, trying to cash in. That does raise the pitch count for Alfonte with that catcher interference, but something just happened. That pitch is a little high. There's a bar right across uh, the screen in front of us, and it's blocking out the sun so perfectly right now. Just exciting. Hey, just wait a minute. It'll, it'll, the sun will come back in our eyes. In about three minutes. That ball is cracked left field. And that is, yeah, over to the next field. Actually, I saw a bounce off the road and into the left, the field to the left of us. What is this batter's name? DeMeo. Uh, Nick DeMeo. I think he could pass for about 25 years old. <laughs> I was thinking he looked like a, <laughs> I don't know, a, a man, has a couple kids, works a pretty good job. His kids are at Aftercare right now, just so he can tell me the game. <laughs> I like the stirrups though, I'll tell you that much. At least there's a couple kids out there doing stirrups. That is a great curveball, and DeMeo walks directly back to the dugout as he saw it. that pitch. The first base right in, watch it go. Ryan Miller. Two strikeouts for Alfonso in this inning. Ryan Miller went out, step up to the plate. Another man who could may or may not be 20 to 27 years old. Swung and a miss, not even close to that pitch. Strike one. Now you just keep pounding them fastballs until you can at least catch up to it. What batter is this? Uh, the number eight batter. Number eight batter. And he can't even come close to that pitch again. Two strikes. Elefante is very good control tonight, painting the inside and outside corner. If I was Elefante this whole game until uh, Donovan could prove they could hit the fastball, I would just keep on, keep on throwing it. They're late on every single swing. And there it is. After the catcher interference, Alfonso says no problem. Three strikeouts in a row. So the score is 0 0 heading to the bottom of the second. We'll be right back at WLTS TV 21. We're back here at WLTS TV 21. Now in the box, four lines, lefty Justin Thompson. It is senior night, so all the seniors were honored pregame. I'm not sure if we got that on tape. After the game, I believe they get flowers and you know, nice pictures with their parents. So that's always a good thing. Nice to have a senior night. On a night game, it's always fun to have night games. That pitch is hit to the second baseman. It's been very busy today. Up with it and on to first, no problem. One down. 
The pitcher, number Catholic. nine, Anthony Elefante. Now in the box for the Lions, Anthony Elefante. Let's see if he can help himself out. I think there was a, a sense of urgency, not urgency, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but uh, Goble got a hit off him. Don't you feel like Elefante like, feels that if he should get a hit now, back Maybe. off him? What are we saying? Goble got a single, might as well get a double. Maybe even just smack one over the wall. Get a one nothing lead. <laughs> that would help. I mean, that's what I would try to do if, <laughs> if I was If it saying. was that easy. <laughs> a one, a little inside, chin music there. And that would be a shot if you hit one out. It's a tall fence over there. 3.30 to right. I think it's 3.30. All around. All around, pretty yeah. close to it. Probably deeper in center, that's for sure. Fouls off the curveball there. I know center field's a lot shorter than uh, home field at uh, the high school. 400 to dead center. I don't know what just happened. The catcher threw it back to the first baseman for I don't know why, who dropped it. The ref didn't, umpire, excuse me, didn't enjoy that. And I, don't, I don't even know why he did that, but. Maybe it's like the movie Major League. I think it's Major League where he has a fear of throwing back to the pitcher. Major League 3, I'm getting confirmation. You know, beat the streak, I chose uh, Adam Jones and Manny Machado. Bottom of the first, Baltimore, their number one. Number one and four hitter got a hit, but not their two and three, which were Jones and Machado. That's a little depressing. That's just how beat the streak works. Whatever you want, you get like every once in a while a good streak going, like a 10 or 12, and then it just breaks your heart. Yeah, I had a 10, and uh, since then I've had one streak of two. What's no. the leader right now? 39. 39. Wow, that is impressive. That's close. That is close. It's got to be what, 56? 57. 57. Now, if you had a beat the streak, and let me explain that for a second, what that is. It's a... Uh, it's an app on your phone where you pick MLB players to get a hit. You can either pick one or go for two, but if one of the two doesn't get a hit, you restart to zero. So this guy's got picked 39 players in a row to get a hit in a game, which is impressive. A good curveball there. He strikes out Alfonte. Two down for Lions. So he's got 39. If you get 57, well, that's just wow. Hold on for a second. The right fielder, number eight, Jared Dial. Jared Dial now steps up to that. If you get 57 picks in a, in a row, which this guy has 39, you win $5.7 million. Now there's gotta be some type of like, give me to that, you can't get all 5.7 million, there's gotta be taxes and whatnot, but you have to get a lot of that, and no one's ever done that before. And you could be, they, they give you two options, you could take it all at once, or you could take uh, 40 years of $140,000. I'd go with that second option. I think I would too. I, I would say I'd drop out of high school, but then again, high school ends in about four weeks. Four weeks. So I'll just, I'll, I would even go to college for my freshman year just for just for fun, and then drop out because. Uh, and I will say, Matt, you are right. The sun is now right in our eyes. Yep. Just went under the bar. My long streak this year, I believe, is nine. I'm uh, I'm chilling the pack here. I've got a solid six. Mm. That's bad. I mean, That's usually, not good. You should at least get eight a couple of times. I've got eight plenty of time. I've got nine or ten. Not been a good year so far for uh, 2017. Just pick Bryce Harper and Daniel Murphy every single day, and you'll get eight. That pitch is fouled back. Two strikes now on Jared Dial. Goble is kind of settling in here. Although every once in a while, he'll just sail one over the catcher's head. <laughs> Other than that, they're throwing a lot of strikes. And that pitch is low and in the dirt. Good stop there by DeMeo. Very good at bat by uh, Dial here. Working the count, getting this pitch count up. Yeah, good eye at the plate. I don't even know the rules. How many uh, pitches could you have in a game? Not a lot. I think you could throw as many as you want, but you can't pick for like months on end. Yeah, at the end of two, That's still no score, 0-0. Zero, zero. Fans, I want to remind you, we'll be back at the home plate.
Back here, WLTS TV 21. Vernon, uh, I'm gonna go with Zanetti, is leading all four Donovan Catholic. Anthony Alfonte pitching strong on the mound. Four strikeouts so for him so far today. That pitch is down the middle for a called strike one. It's like we're watching the uh, Yankees versus uh, Cubs game from last night. 40, oh, let's, let's, 48 strikeouts. Let's talk about that, Jack. You're a Yankees fan. Yeah. I put it on bottom of the ninth, and Cubs were down by three runs. So I said, all right, they got a hit. I'm like, they tied, they made it 4-2. I said, all right, I'm going to bed. Woke up the next morning, it says 18 innings. I said, oh my gosh. And a curveball swing and a miss. Three pitches is all that needs to be done. The second baseman, number seven, Ryan O'Sullivan. That's gotta be defeating for the Cubs. You play, you play an extra 18, uh, extra nine innings for a loss. Especially, you know, coming back uh, on Ch Aroldis Chapman on the last, in the ninth inning. I actually played with this uh, batter, Ryan O'Sullivan. Uh, played a couple of tournaments with the Jersey Mudcats he was on the team. And how was he back then? He was, he was small. He was small? Yes, he was a small child. Warmed up a little bit now? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him recently. Well, maybe he'll watch this. He'll reach out to you and he'll be like, oh, that's Matt Zahar. I only played on the team for a tournament or two, but I did horrible. <laughs> that pitch is one on a miss. That's when my baseball career really started to go downhill. Nice of spirit. Yeah. And the pitch. Foul. Wow, that was impressive. Foul <laughs> right off the, uh, the umpire's mask. And the umpire just didn't even flinch. Definitely couldn't have felt good. Wow. Didn't flinch at all. It's a madman back there. <laughs> a lot of students turned up today, which is always good to see. And uh, today starts Senior Assassin, which is a non affiliated school event where all seniors uh, put in five dollars and we all get water guns and floaties and goggles and he hates it and you can uh, kill somebody by shooting them with the water gun everyone gets a target and it's like a big chain reaction someone gets someone and that person gets another person it's a big chain 140 kids are involved, so you might see some people walking around with floaties and goggles on local stores for the next month or so. That ball is fouled back. Matt, how do you feel about it? Um, I'm not really that into the game. I signed up. I'm not going to wear goggles or floaties at any point. I don't want to look ridiculous in public. And that's, and that's the thing. That's the thing. You know what? When there's $500 on the line, I will wear floaties. I will wear goggles to, to well, really try to win $500. $500 on the line. It's more like two or 300 for first place. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. 
I'm not going to work. Yeah, I'm going to work floaties for $200. I just win fantasy football all leagues for my money. <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid income right there. Curveball foul. Again. Won a lot of money in fantasy football last year, if I say so for myself. Good at bat by O'Sullivan. It's got to be a tough battle for Alafonte. Just can't seem to uh, get him to swing and miss. Yeah, no offense, but you can't be at legal age to, to be doing that. <laughs> to do what? <laughs> to win money in fantasy football. No, it's off the books. It's okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just forget about that. <laughs> that pitch is high. It's a long at bat. I don't know. I feel like O'Sullivan's been in that batter's box for. I would throw an outside fastball. The umpire's just calling it off the plate. Full but count hey, here. That's just me. I'm not pitching. And you've played with him, so you know what he's going to swing at. You've played yeah. with him for at least <laughs> three played games. played for years. Inside fastball. Got him. Two strikeouts in the inning. That's five in a row for Alfonso. The center fielder, number 11, Matt Morrow. He's given us a great look at what Chelsea Howard did about, what was that? When was that, Friday? Yeah. A couple days ago. Phenomenal pitching. She pitched 19 strikeouts out of 21 batters through a perfect game. That was some crazy stuff. Postulus over. Great play. Great play. And uh, good inning for Alfonte. Three up, three down. A great play there by Postulus. Then the inning. We'll be right back at WLTS TV 21. Back here, WL Test TV 21. Brent Haggerty's up to bat, and he picked a great walk-up song. That was a great song. Bring a fire. Did he choose that, or was that given to him? Oh, it was. So he did choose it, I think. Yes. If I had to take a prediction on this at bat, I'm going to say a home run over that target, or hitting the target straight in the center, and he'll get a free pizza. I'd be so happy if that happened. I feel a line drive straight back up the middle, and that ball is crushed to left field. Going back is the left fielder. He's under at the warning track and makes the grab. I gotta say, my prediction was pretty close. I mean, that was that was, extremely that was close. a very good position. A little bit more prediction. A, a little bit more of a line fielder. drive. Number one, and like about Anthony Tobia. Five, five feet yeah, to the right. Five feet to the right. And he had a free pizza. We had big smiles. I mean. He would have been on base. There would have been a party all over this field tonight. I would have been freaking out. I don't know what happened. Now on deck. I mean, oh my god, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, now up to bat. And then Tobia lays down a bunt. Quick play there by Coble. And throws out Tobia for the second out of the inning. Only about about three him. or four pitches so far from Global this inning. Number 17, Evan Ross. Have the, uh, has Lacey registered a hit yet? No, they have not. They have not. They have huh? not registered a base runner. Really? I could have sworn they were on base. I don't know what I'm watching. This is Lacey Baseball. Evan Ross will step up to the plate and he'll take a pitch. I don't even know if that was a striker ball, to be honest with you. It was a strike. That was a stri that was a strike. Called strike. 
That is clearly a ball, but good stop there by DeMeo. That is umpire's job of cleaning off the plate. Mets took the lead already. 2-1 lead for the Mets. I believe bottom the first. I believe the Yankees are up 3-1. to one. I don't know. I mean, the Yankees, their bullpen is crazy, but their starting pitcher isn't that good. I think they got to have the best starting pitching uh, ERA in the MLB right now. They do. Oh, do they really? They yes. Do. On paper, there is a base hit for Evan Ross. And there goes I mean, they got perfect Tanaka, game. Servino. They have but Tanaka just, I don't know, I feel like he hasn't been the he, same since the first time he came into this league. He wins games. That's he true. does. That's true. I don't know, on paper, I'm the not catcher, impressed them, but... Number four, Jordan Much as I dislike the Yankees, they're proving to be uh, a top team again this year. Because they missed the playoffs last year, right? Yes, they did. And the year before that. Uh, no, no, they were in the uh, wild card the year before that. Oh, wild card, okay. Fair enough. So I remember the Mets had a better record than them. Yeah. Is that a bet with Mr. Guess? There's a strike. I forgot what we were Home talking run. about. Oh, <laughs> Matt, you can't just say that. <laughs> I think we were talking about uh, the Yankees and the Mets. Oh, yeah. 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 Mr. Guest, that's what I was saying. I said if the, if the Mets had a better record than the Yankees, he'd, he'd buy me wings. He never bought me wings, and the Mets had a better record. And every time I see him in the hallway, I say, hey, I want my wings. That pitch is in the dirt, and Ross will move over a second. He's rounding that base like he's going to third, but he'll stop short. Good hustle there by Ross to be on his toes to get to second base. Drakevich now has a runner in scoring position. Two outs in the inning. Count is one and two. A lot of yelling from both sides here. Who do we got? Two outs? Yep. Let's see you get something going here. Look at that right, a center right gap right there. I feel like that's a a solid place to just lay that ball. Got a nice liner over the second baseman's head. To the gap. 2-2 two, two count. And pitch. Fouled off, stays alive. He's still alive there. Time is called, I'm not too sure why. Uh, the catcher got hit in the hand with that foul ball, so that's not gonna feel too good. Tomorrow, Lions have the second round of their short conference tournament. You guys know what they're racing? All right, they're versing some team. <laughs> what are they playing at? Uh, where are they playing at? They should be home, they're the two seed, so they gotta be home. They play Manchester? No, Ma I think Manchester would be their next game. But uh, yeah, they got a pretty good uh, seeding in the in the bracket. They got a lot of easy, not shouldn't say easy teams, but easier teams than on the uh, west side of the bracket. Yeah, they just beat Point Beach or Point Borough. I think Point Beach 16 to six in their first game, so a lot of hits for them that night. Today they got their first hit in this inning, trying to drive in a run to take an early lead in the bottom of third inning. Pickoff here, but Ross was about two steps off the base. He just <laughs> took a dive for no reason when he could have just lunged back to the base, but he's safe. And the 2-2 two, two is fouled right side. Jordan's doing a good job of staying alive here, getting the pitch count up on uh, Goebel. Like we said, there was a pitch count. Not exactly sure what it is, but the higher the pitcher pitches, if the count, the higher the pitch count goes for the pitcher, the better it is, especially for a pitcher like Global who's having a lot of success against this Lions offense. So again, the 2-2. Two -two. And swung on and missed Global with the strikeout and strands runner at second. We're gonna head to the top three of the fourth, 0-0 is our score here. 
We are back here at WLTS TV 21. Man will step in for Donovan Catholic. What did he do for his first time at bat, Jack? He uh, grounded out to Keith Apostolos at shortstop. Wait, no, wasn't it Evan Ross? Wasn't that crazy play where Evan Ross kind of took over? No, I think it was like a chopper up the middle and Keith got to it. I believe. Anyway, he did get out the first at bat. He's the number three hitter. So there's anybody I see in that outfield right now, it's Ron Capitasto. I see him in his uh, black jacket behind that scoreboard. No, actually, my bad. He uh, he struck out looking. Wow, that's completely <laughs> different. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was looking at batter, batter above him. Mr. Capitasto loves that right field defense. Always spot him out there. Great man. All the parents do. Yeah, it's a little... Uh, the little hangout yeah, spot. little hangout spot. And here's a pick by Alfonte. Blew it by him. Another strikeout for Alfonte. He's racking him up tonight. That's the 20, pitcher. That's 20 22 on the night. False. Goble. That is six. False. That is six. six. Ah. 20 minus 14. Then you get six. Yeah. Divided by one. You get six. All right. Now the Dominic Catholic team is just shouting Bart as it is his first game. A good curveball in there. Four strikes. So a first pitch curveball. And Alfonso has got that pitch working for him tonight. Another curveball a little bit inside. That's curveball is definitely a pitch that he's going to need to keep relying on. Global got a hit off him. His first time at bat. I'd just like Ooh, to mention uh, my brother just walked into the booth right now. How's he doing? I'm, I'm assuming all right. He just got done umpiring it looks like. Looks good. Looks a little beaten up. Where's he going to college? Right now he's going to OCC. Goldbull with Alfonte strikes out Goldbull. That's got to feel good for Alfonte. Number 21, Gerard Russo. And he is actually going to, uh, like, New Mexico, Arizona, going to go uh, be an independent league umpire. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I guess from there, just work up until higher and higher. Yep. Until he's in the major leagues calling uh, the World Series games. That's the dream. That's a base hit into the gap, and let's see what Russo does. He's going to stay a one. A good job in right field to keep the runner at bay at first. So that is the second time aboard for Russo. First time was a catcher interference. I'm not sure what they scored that, but definitely not a hit. The left fielder, number 13, in Gilroy. Ian oh, Gilroy will step out. Uh, catcher's interference for Russo. They just rule it as catcher's interference? Yep. Does that count, I guess, does that count as in a bat? Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't assume so. 
I don't think Wait, so. Wait, another one was just called? No. No, 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 no that's on. his last at bat. Okay, Matt, you know, had a long day today. I have a long day. I gotta get prepared for my AP uh, calculus test tomorrow. Yes, best of luck there. I mean, I would fail it, but I think I'll take the class. Jurkevich went to go throw down a second as Russo stole the base, but forgot the ball, so that could definitely hurt the chances of throwing him out. Man on second, two outs here. Excuse me. Whew. A burp just snuck up on me there. <laughs> Some bodily functions you just can't control. I was just compared to Keith Hernandez. I mean, I'd say that's a compliment. He's a major. <laughs> he's a major league baseball player. I am not offended at all. Actually, I am very grateful for that <laughs> remark. <laughs> no, I'm just getting sl slammed with mean comments up here. I mean, I have a pretty good excuse. I don't do this often. This is only the second time I've ever done this. I'm not supposed to be affiliated with you guys. I don't think I've ever... This is actually my first game calling a uh, men's game, I believe. Uh, we've done softball. The basketball. We've done basketball. We've done football. We've done something else, I believe. Mike and someone and Tyler Wheel tried to do soccer but failed miserably. I was, I was a part of that, unfortunately. You were part of that. I heard that. That didn't go well. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, that's tough to call. I mean, there's not really not much going on. No. So, I mean, I think the problem is there's too much going on. As another strikeout for Alfonte. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Fall out back in time. Jack, I want you to do play by play. We'll be right, right back at WLTS TV 21. And we are back from WL, uh, the WLTS baseman, TV 21. Donald Zellman. Evan is not back yet, so I'm going to take over. Uh, what did Donald do his first step? Uh? He uh, uh, flied out to uh, the second baseman. I think that's when he made a nice oh, play yeah, over there. Make a nice play track that one down. And Goble delivers. Curveball outside. I think there might be a little bit of confusion between Goble and the catcher. He's dropped a few balls, let a few go by. Yeah, it might have been confusion with the signs. And the pitch. Ball low. Evans back. All right, I'm alive. Made it back in time. Not really, but Jack, how you doing? Doing all right. All right, keep the play-by-play -play call going. We'll see. You got to do this next year, not me, so. All right, all right, all right. Got a two-one count here. Got something nice, just go for it. Swing as hard as you can. Yeah, it's got to be in that box, so this is a good uh, hitter's count here for Zellman. Matt, that's your philosophy for everything, especially in golf. Just swing hard and see what happens. I mean, really, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> My last swing of the day, I was in the bunker. I swung hard, and I just talked it. I was like, dang. <laughs> Playing really good. Straight call that uh, might have been a little outside. Well, I mean, the umpire has been calling that all game, so you gotta you gotta give him that. Yeah. If he had two strikes on him there and didn't swing, I mean, can't do anything about it. He's been calling it all game. That's a nice piece of hitting right there. 
And that gets down fair for ball. a fair ball. Zellman goes two. Let's see if he goes three. He's gonna stay at two. A great double there by Donald Zellman to start the inning. Nice piece of hitting by Zellman. Outside pitch, just take it, take it the other way and right down the line for a nice double. <laughs> The shortstop, number seven, Pete Apostolos. Just got much more shot. I walk outside back in here. I got a lot more. Like, Thank you, Matt, for bringing me an extra sweatshirt. Yeah, that's what friends are for, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I ran out of my coffee, so. That ball is dropped, but just right in front. So. Maybe there's not confusion with this pitcher and catcher. Maybe the catcher just has trouble catching the ball. Could be. Could be a new glove. Not broken in yet. And the pitch. That's a good bump right there. Global has trouble trouble picking up the ball as uh, Keith Apostolos gets a nice uh, infield bunt single and moves Zellman over to third. The left fielder, number 10, Justin Thompson. They got runners on the corner here for the Lions. Justin Thompson's up, no outs, man, on first and third. I know in high school baseball, with man on first and third, that runner always tries to do something at first to get that guy, the catcher, in a, a tight spot to throw it or not. So are we expecting Keith Apostolos, who does have wheels to steal here? Uh, yeah, you know, you usually do. Usually sometimes you'll even see him try to get into a rundown just so the uh, runner from third could get across. That just scares me. I feel like there's just so much risk there. Especially with no outs, you know, you gotta think you just got to, uh, you got to hope that, you got to hope that, you know, your, your, your guys can come through with base hit. Now that you mentioned it, Evan, my fantasy baseball team is three and two. Did I, oh, did I mention three and two? No, but I mean, they are three and two. I didn't even mention fantasy baseball at all, but. I just wanted to let you know. Oh. If the topic's on discussion, I, I just like to complain with my team. Very injury prone. I've had. Uh, oh, me too. I had Madison Bumgarner just. Just fall off a bike. <laughs> dirt bike accident. <laughs> come on. I guess just. Come on. Drafting my team, I had five guys in the DL in the first week. I think I had like three. I am. There's a hit That's in a the nice corner. Season. There's a run. That might be two runs. Apostolos is heading to third. Let's see. They're going to send him. He's rounding third. Here comes a relay. The throw comes home. High throw and keep the possible score. And there goes Justin Thompson moving over to third base. So a good RB, two RBI double there by Justin Thompson who advances on the throw. And that breaks the 0-0 tie to a 2 nothing lead for the Lions. Really nice piece of hitting there. Goes with the pitch to right center. But speaking of fantasy teams, my team is 3-2 as well. And I have the most points in the league. You're only beating me by like 8 points. But, but just say after the first two weeks, I was the laughing stock of the league. I was getting made fun of in school. Are you on a 3-0 win streak? 3-game winning streak. I, I should be 4-1 right now. There was a crazy week where I was winning the entire day. And then Don Zellman, who's playing this game, Came back in a mere play, and I looked at it. And I thought I was clearly winning. I lost. I was, I was so confused. I have Carlo Martinez, and he just started off really bad, but now he's picking it up, and he just throws a lot of strikeouts. The Nationals have one hit through four innings. That never happens. They usually have like 10 hits by now. Ground ball, looks third baseman back. And a really good play there to get the first out of the inning. Smart job there. You know, looking back to runner, make sure he's not going, and then fire over to first base for the out. The right fielder, number eight, Jarrett Dial. Jarrett Dial now steps into the plate. Jack, what do you do his first time up? Uh, Dial struck out looking. On a full count. So he works the count a little bit to see if he can get something going here. Tries to bunt here, but uh, that's not going to work out for him that time.
On a one count. It's getting a little chilly out here now that the sun went down. My hands are freezing. Really? <laughs> no, I'm lying. Um, my ears are toasty with this headset. They are toasty. <laughs> I think I might start wearing these during the winter this year. All right, three people. That was a crazy play. All right, all right. Let me digest this for a second. Three Donovan Catholic people, or two Donovan Catholic people, dove for a ball that fell right in between. That was like a scene from Bad News Bears. Number fourteen, Brandon Haggerty. Good attempts by both, but. They both came up it short. It like they did that on purpose. Yeah, just yeah. one dove in front of the other. RBI bunt single for Jared Dial. Because it wasn't an error. No. It was, it was a really perfectly placed bunt. <laughs> not a good yeah, one, though. Not a good one, but it was a really bad, good bunt. That just landed in the perfect <laughs> spot. They got an RBI home. Hey, listen, sometimes you don't question it. All right, this one's hitting that target. That's a swing and a miss. He's going to get a low and inside fastball. Maybe even an off-speed pitch. Today in gym, we were playing wiffle ball, and uh, Coach V was like, if you hit, I said, Coach, uh, I don't know, what if I do something? Because if you hit that pickoff, no, not even worth a shot there. His dog is back, no problem. He said, if you hit the L on the left side there and the second pair of bleachers, I'll go to Miss Walker's and I'll personally buy you an ice cream, uh, banana split. I had one pretty close, but it was you more did. of a pop-up. It was like a first one, not even close, a little ground out. Second one, had a pop-up towards the L. Didn't get there. So no no banana split for me. But I will want to say something interesting that happened in gym, though. Coach V had us play Duck, Duck, Goose. He did. Have, it was crazy time. Really good curveball there that had Harry a little baffled. Oh, I'm just going to say this because Brandon told me to, but me and Brandon, just for the viewers out there, we are neighbors. You guys are neighbors. I have I have been to your house. I've seen your house. I love it. Yeah. You used to go over his house and play guitar here all the time. I did. Brandon's mom watches a little kid named Roman. Don't know his last name. Risden, I believe. Oh, Roman Risden. How is he related to Haggerty? I don't know if they are related. I don't think they are. But, but him. I was supposed to go to the zoo last year with uh, Brandon and uh, Roman, but that never happened. It never, it Hopefully ha this summer. <laughs> Matt, you're really holding on to something that uh, doesn't look too promising. Roman's a cute little kid, very innocent. I, s I met him for the first time in uh, at uh, what's that called? Take your uh, child, child to, to work, work day. day. Uh. Fly ball caught by the shortstop. Now, what is that? Where did he go? To school? I'm so confused. His mom's a teacher in the school. Oh, now that The center fielder, number one, Anthony Tobia. Good song, yes. Toby's up. Had a bunt for his first time that didn't pan out the way he wanted to. Good snap throw there by the catcher, but no, no way of getting Jared Dial back for his base. <laughs> Bottom of the fourth? Uh, yes. Bottom of the fourth here, we play seven innings. It's getting late, it's eight, ten already. Uh, Lucky I go into school late tomorrow. You know, I could do homework tonight, but it's due Wednesday. So I'm just going to push it all off and do a lot tomorrow. <laughs> Same deal with me. Tomorrow we have, like I said, a big match in golf. Looking to win B South. How's the tennis team doing this year? Um, They're doing all right. They're, they're around 500. It's so not too shabby. I know Justin Freeze is a pretty good tennis player. Yeah, yes. Best on the team for sure. Kevin O'Rourke, I know he's... He's up there. He's very good. Yeah, best doubles player. Do you have a, uh, any tournaments coming up? Uh, I believe our first game is tomorrow for states. For states. Oh, our states, actually, for golf. We made states. We play a tournament at... Uh, Twisted, Twisted Dunes. Dunes. I told 
I was talking to someone and I said, oh yeah, when do we play at uh, Whistling Streets? But that's, that's a, like a professional golf course that Billy thinks in the U.S. as a ball is hit to the second baseman, fields it cleanly, throws the first for the out. But yeah, needless to say, I messed up and they're very confused. We're not playing Lucy professional Tetra golf course. Pines, three, Donovan Catholic, Lions, zero. Three on the board there in the bottom of the fourth. We'll be right back at WFTS. Fourth inning pitch call. here at WLTS TV 21. You can find us on YouTube at WLTS TV 21. Check out all our latest vids. We have some cool things on that channel. Check out our softball game. Check out uh, my, uh, what else we got? We got my project for New Jersey Film Festival. How'd it come out? Uh, you know, it was funny. It wasn't a great video, but it was it was funny. I mean, so. anything that involves Brandon Prez is usually pretty funny. <laughs> that, that's a funny child. I thought you were gonna say anything that involves you is pretty funny. I was like, oh, thanks, Matt. But, no, that, no, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be true. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is fouled back again. Oh my God! I'm say. Oh, I thought the Mets were winning, but I just checked. <laughs> Turns out they're losing. A great curveball to freeze the mayo. Take us in. The first baseman, number 51, Ryan Miller. Shout out to Jack for doing the book for us. Doing a good job over there, buddy. That could be wrong. I don't even know what you're doing over there, but it seems no, like you're doing the book. book. You look like you're doing a good job. Thanks, Evan. How many shot guys for Alfonso? 22. No. Um, let's see. Seven, eight? Probably eight now. Ten. Ten. Is that right? That's what I have. What inning is it? Top of the fifth. That's impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. You shook out ten out of thirteen batters so far. Wait, no, there's no way that could be right. I mean, Jack, <laughs> there's almost zero chance. No, ten. Now 11. 11. That's well, a let's think about this. So that means hitter. there's three other outs Number out two, on the field. Brendan there was a great play by Keith Apostolos. Um, I guess there haven't been too many. Yeah. The play by uh, Evan uh, Ross Evan at third Ross. base. I mean, no, there's, there's, uh, and then there's a play by uh, Donald Zolman on chopper. First batter of the game. Yeah, first batter of the game. Fair enough, Jack. I'm sorry. El Fonte is dealing out there tonight. Outfielder's got to be bored. <laughs> <laughs> They're just. What do you think they're probably thinking about senior assassin. Oh, it's the seniors. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got walkie-talkies with each other, <laughs> talking to each other out there. Planning. It's so it was a creepy game. People just stalk each other. It's awesome. Oh, two count here. Looking for his twelfth strikeout. I uh, he'll get it. You think so? 
to strike out the side. A little fastball on the outside corner. High fastball, swing and a miss. Clearly a ball, but that will be a strike and a Pitch great out inning. Pitch for Elefante, there. 10, strike game out total side. 67. Only 10 pitches needed. We'll be right back at WLTS TV 21. We're back here at WLTS TV 21. Evan Ross steps into the plate. Base hit his last at bat. And I had something to say, but I completely forget what it was. I, I think I know exactly what it was. Is this about the Orioles and the uh, Indians? It was not, no. Oh. But. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I think he has it. <laughs> I'd really like to see Dave Capicelli get up and hit a home run. No, <laughs> no that would be a sight I would to be see. blown away, but I would love to see it. I think the whole dugout would just, like, go crazy. I think that I think Lacey would win. Does, does he have a hit this year? Uh, yeah. I think he had a double last game. Oh, did he? Good for him. There are just so many strikeouts now in this game. Number four, the I, mean, I didn't mean to take a shot at Dave Capicelli. I just didn't know if he actually like got up to bat this year. So I don't know how many times he got up to bat. I will say though, he does need a haircut. That's the only thing I have against that kid. The flow's not. Terrible. It just doesn't fit him. No. Mike McClung, who had extremely long and disgusting hair, finally got a haircut. That made me happy. But then again, he got sick, so maybe... I think he just got sick because of Senior Assassin, so that's an excuse to stay inside. <laughs> Hide from everybody else, but that's just my opinion. I mean, me and you are not allowed in his house. <laughs> you are not allowed in his... Which confuses me. I don't have Mike McClung. I don't have anyone even close to affiliating with Mike McClung. I don't. No one even. <laughs> oh. Nothing. Nothing. We should just sleep up here in this little. This is a perfect spot. <laughs> up here. If you open that door, it's a little like uh, dark, slightly vented room in there. Does Jordan ever hit this game? Mm, Did not. No. Two strikeouts, actually. Two strikeouts. Uh, he's due for it. He usually gets a hit every game. I think earlier in the year, Dave was showing me uh, had a 12-game hitting streak. Mm -hmm. And that is cracked to right field, but the right fielder looks like he's under it. And makes the grab. One down. In the the second baseman, number 12, Donald Zellman. Global still in the game. Global. You say, you say global? Global. 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 Global, yeah. Global. I don't know what I said. 
Quick game. Yeah. A lot of strikeouts. Pitch slow and in the dirt ball one. Right, stop that. <laughs> Just stop. That pitch is a blooper into the left field, but oncoming the left fielder makes a grab. Who's that, Ryan O'Sullivan? No, that is, I will check for you. Where's Ryan O'Sullivan? He is, I believe, the second baseman. All right, we're going to stay here. I, I love Mark this Goble, song. 10, game so, total we 76. Talk, we'll just let you enjoy this song. Sweet Caroline, come on. That was Alex Jansen. Made the catch. Is he? I don't believe he's not batting. He's just yes, yeah. Just enjoy this Neil Diamond Sweet Caroline song with us. Paul Coluccio to uh, poor Paul Anthony Alafonte. Oh, what a snag. Touching hands. Reaching out. Touching me. Now batting to Donovan Blackwood. <laughs> the second baseman, number seven, Ryan O'Sullivan. Oh, there's your boy. There's your best friend, Ryan O'Sullivan. <laughs> Do you think he'd even come close to remembering you? I actually played against him uh, my only year of high school baseball, sophomore year. And did you guys, like, share? We did know each other, yes. Yeah, we had a nice hug when he uh, hit a double. He's <laughs> <laughs> playing shortstop. Only one person out in senior assassin so far. Which happened in the first about ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes of the game. Who was that? Uh, Andrew Lafferty got out by Shannon McMenemy. <laughs> Sullivan now looks. Oh, five day deals. A little bit high. And I must say, Elefante is really. Just basically throwing all strikes this game so far. Not many balls from him today. No, he's had a lot of first pitch strikes, which obviously will help you as a pitcher. That ball is low. Now I'm going to ask the booth a question. Do you guys take requests? I'm not sure yet. I'm just thinking. Do you guys, I hear Piano Man playing somewhere right now. I was wondering if you guys were accepting requests. Do you guys have any requests? I don't, I do not. Not as of now. I'd love a little Bon Jovi. Well, that is right, you did ask for that earlier. Bon Jovi always hits the spot, especially at baseball games. You buying your prom ticket tomorrow? I am buying my prom ticket tomorrow, and I, I spoke to Coach. I said, Coach, there's going to be a long line for that. I might have to, you know, I might have to miss the bus and take myself up there in my own car. Now batting the well, center I mean, fielder, number 11, Matt be, Morrow. Well, at least me. I could be first in line. Since I'm not going to be in school tomorrow, I got my AP test, so I could get that down there early. So, I mean, I could buy your ticket for you, but I don't think that's allowed. No, no, I got to bring my, like, uh, signed paper there. You could just cut in line. I'm a better person than that, Matt. Well, that sounds appetizing. <laughs> it does sound appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Make my mouth water for like uh, boneless wings on like a really hungry Saturday night, at, like 10:15. Oh, from Applebee's? <laughs> yeah, those things always just hit the spot. Is Time, that is that? Called here. Isn't that what uh, Mr. Getz owes you too? Uh, from Caffrey's, owes my wings. I'll take them from Applebee's. I really don't care. I'm not that picky about my wings. Are you a junior or sophomore? Sophomore. Sophomore. Are you on a junior cruise or junior prom? Not this year, no. Not this year? I'm going to junior prom and then I'm going to senior prom, so. Wow. Crazy stuff. Actually going with Katie Hughes, who I always mention in softballs as because she is my neighbor and I always say she is my neighbor, so. Looking forward to that Friday night. That was a strike. 
Pitch count is getting a little high for Alfonso. Close to the 80s now. Top of the sixth. That was more of a question, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I didn't really hear you. I wasn't paying attention. I heard you. Called strike. A lot of banter from Donovan Catholic on that on that uh, pitch. I don't think I saw the pitch. Everybody's amazed by it. Mm -hmm. It was a little low, but who can tell? Ground ball, Harrity well played to second. Whoa, to second for one, and then throws the first, but no one's covering it as that runner will now hop on down to second base on the miscue for the Lions. People were at first base, but no one seemed to want to uh, snag it. Now batting the third baseman, number 30, Zach Mann. Zach Mann steps in for the Dons and Catholic. What are they, Dragons? Are they Dragons? Griffins. Griffins, that's it. Matt, you recently started going back to the gym. Tell me about it. <laughs> There's not really much to tell about that. How's it going? You feel Don't stronger yet? No, I feel a lot weaker. <laughs> Honestly, though, I just, my body feels weak right now. Well, that's, that's the process. <laughs> I struggled walking that golf course today. Oh my God. <laughs> I found that there's straps in the back of our bags that if you pull on, it brings the bag up much higher, 10 times more comfortable. I'll pull the strings for you tomorrow. You'll no, like, I don't want to. You'll be like, thank you, Evan. Because then it doesn't bounce as much. I've just been holding back. it by the handle to work <laughs> on my, <laughs> my, my forearm strength. <laughs> I don't even use a bag anymore. I just have everything in my pockets. <laughs> yeah, I just carry all the clubs. I put a rubber band around it. I'd be confused if someone just walked the course. I mean, really, I only needed three clubs today. I only used three of them. Wow. Good for you. Not four of them, four. What'd you use? Driver. Wood. Five wood. Five wood, uh, sandwich and putter. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two now down. Riding, the pitcher, number 22, Bart Goebel. Goebel will now step in. Getting roasted up here right now. <laughs> we have a former announcer just bragging about himself up here in the studio. I take him down any telecom competition there ever is. Except making videos. I'm just horrible at making videos. Swing and a miss, two strikes now. I, I recently just got exhausted. Yeah, I mean. I haven't said a word in a while. I've just been zoning out constantly right now. Happens to You guys got to keep talking to keep me into this. <laughs> All right, we'll try. Swing and a miss, strike three and El Fonte. He is fired he up. Is, he's excited. Lacey's excited. They're up 3 0, going to the bottom of the sixth. We'll be right back. El Fonte, yes, TV touch count, eight, eight,
Back here, at WLTS TV 21. Keith Possible steps in and fouls one back. Dustin Thompson was very frightened at that foul ball. <laughs> I don't know where that could have gone, but he was a okay, nervous yeah. Nelly. <laughs> I think it went over the fence. <laughs> no, it wasn't even close to him. That's that a nice rip, but looks like it's going foul. To foul. Yep. Look at all these lacy players. So nice. Go, go pick the bat up, go hand it to him. I guess that's this new generation of kids, huh? Better than me and you, right? Guess so. If it was me, I would take that bat and throw it in the dugout. Why? Keep him warmed up. <laughs> you don't want to tire him out. Right, I'm confused by that logic. <laughs> Jack, how do we do play-by-play? -play? You got to do it next year. I won't steal your lights time. All right. Want me to start it now, then? I want you to start it right now. Okay. Give me the bottom of the six right now. Say, hello, I'm Jack Kroll, and, and go. Hello, I'm Jack Kroll, <laughs> and uh, global deals. Curveball low in the dirt. Ball two. Let me just put another correction. You guys both have said global. It's global. Matt, I know it's global. You said global, and he said global. And it's global. And you just said global, so... Look. No, it is global. I don't understand. It's global. It's like a tongue twister. It just gets you. I guess uh, Goble is getting a new ball. Goble. Oh, might have got a little too much dirt on it. And the pitch. Ball outside. Jack, who are you going to do this with next year? Um, Tyler Wheeler is going to be the uh, uh, sports director with me next year, so. Looking forward to calling games with him. I've had that title for three years now. Foul who, was ball. It, who was it before you? Paul Toth. Paul Toth. Oof. <laughs> 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 now I like Paul Toth. I don't know if he's shaved in a while, but he's had a furious beard growing lately. A what? Furious beard. Furious beard. It just scares me. I could sleep right now. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I woke you up. <laughs> a foul ball I just scared. There's a fence in the way of that ball. Scared the life out of me. I will say it did give me a little like jump scare there too. Oh my god. <laughs> and the pitch. Cracked into right center. That's gone. No. That is not gone. That is caught. My <laughs> To right fielder. One of these are uh, one out. Left fielder, number 10, Justin Thompson. When is Brandon Haggerty up next? Just give it to my mom. Um, he's got a ways to go. He's after it's Thompson, Alfonte, Dial, and then Haggerty. Ah, so this is bottom six? Yeah. Yep. Ah, so he's probably not going to get another at bat. Alfonte had not. 65 pitches, 85 pitches. And the pitch? It's not his Curve probably done. Strike one. He's going to do an assessment of streak and when Alfonso comes to the middle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, question is, is going to finish this game with 85 pitches? Is that what is the max you could have? You can have 115. So, I'm, uh, my guess is that he's going back out there. He, isn't, he just strikes out everyone he's faced almost. They also may want to save him for tomorrow if he can pitch tomorrow. I don't know what the... Absolutely um, not. you got to no. pitch like under 25 oh, pitches to pitch yeah, next no. day. <laughs> then no. <laughs> Curveball high. Thompson had a big double two innings ago to break this game to a 0 0 tie to a 2 0 lead for the Lions. Then came across the score to make it 3 0, but that will be a strikeout. Gosh. <laughs> Pitcher number nine, Anthony Elefante. On that pitch, that was a great call by DeMeo just to, uh, you know, blow up right by him. Get the second out of the inning.
Yeah, it's seen it. One of them has to go over the wall. Maybe it's this one. C could be. <laughs> that was... That was a nice curve pulled, bar right there. Pulled his body out. Yeah. Looks like someone was chirping from the Lacey dugout. And the pitch fouled up over our, over the booth. And the 0-2. Strike three. And that is a 1-2-3 inning by Goebel as the Lacey Lions are set down Goble and ready to take the field. Sixth inning, 17. <laughs> Matt, are you okay, you little chilly? I am cold. <laughs> We're back here for the top of the seventh. Anthony Alfonte is trying to finish off his complete game. Trying to close in on 35 strikeouts. No, not even close. Not even kind of close. Pitching a heck of a game so far. Gets ahead of his first batter here. That ball's a little too inside. Count is one on one. Like we said, Lacey with a win tonight. Shot in center field. Toby's underneath it. Makes the grab. With a win tonight, Lacey can clinch the South. The left fielder, number 13, two in. outs away. Correction. Pinch hitting for Donovan Catholic, number two, Ross Artali. We said his name before, Ross Artali. Pinch ran, and now he is up to bat looking to start a one-out rally here in the last inning of this game. Matt is breathing heavy. I think he's a little nervous. A pitch, strike. Yeah, prompt tickets are just expensive. I'm not looking forward to buying them. You buy one for your girlfriend? I hope not. No. Oh, <laughs> Ball outside one on one. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm paying for the prom bus for my date, but not the ticket. I believe. How much is the bus? Uh, the same price as the ticket, so it really doesn't matter. It all just equals. I'm out. taking a limo. It's sixty-six dollars a person. Mine's 60. The Ooh. bus is 60. Ooh. I'm going on a limo, though. I'm not going on a, I'm going on a party bus. Swing and a miss. One out away and another strikeout. Total that off first, Jack. What's that from? Now bad. That is... The catcher. Pinch hitting. I'm just a little We're confused down on how you guys are getting home. From 15. Wild. 15. My mom's going to come pick me up. 15. That's Jack convenient. <laughs> no, no, uh, we'll figure it out. 15 strikeouts for Alfonte. He's looking to get one more out here, and the B South title is theirs. Strikeout here puts him at 40. Nope, 16.
So a pinch hitter here trying to get something going. John Trois is warming up in right field. I guess, he's, I guess he's done warming up now. Swing and a miss. One more strike and it's 44 for the game. That is 16. so far off. 16, Matt. Although the Lions are one strike away from clinching B South. I want to thank Mr. Murr for setting all this up. Thanking you guys for being here. And that is it. The ball game is over in B South. Final score, Lacey Township. Lacey. Three, Catholic, zero. Lacey That's a 45 Township strikeout performance. That is a 16 South. strikeout performance. Final pitch count for Anthony Farte. Anthony Farte. A complete for game shutout. Jake Abacash has to always go in wild. Congratulations to the Lacey Township High School baseball team for winning Short Conference I never thought I would see 50 strikeouts in a game, but we saw it tonight. No, we did not. We saw 16. 16 strikeouts. Strikeouts of seven great innings for the Lions. The music is getting extremely loud, so make it short. Thank you guys for being here with us, and again, congratulations. The I'm glad I made this history tonight. 55 strikeouts. Ball. And completely ball. Peace out, champions. What a night. Thank you for watching. Lacey 3, Catholic 0, Lacey Peace Out Champions. Have a good night.